Hello, my lovelies. How you doing, Sagittarius? This is Renee, and welcome back. Sag, this is going to be your reading. So, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay, let's get into your energy. What's going on with Sagittarius? Let's get some energies for Sagittarius for their current situation. Me uh, message for Sag. Okay, new love. Woo. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wow. We also have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so there's new love in store. You know, if this is a new love, this is taking it to the next level for Sagittarius. A feeling of being renewed, of newness, right? Really beautiful. Let's get some more energy for Sagittarius. We have sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Right? So you you may be very empathetic right now. You know, you may be a true empath. Um, you can also be increasing your intuition. You know, that could be really heightened at the moment. You, you can feel things very deeply. You see things. Right? You could be having visions about situations. You also have victory. Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So something that you prayed for um, is coming to life, Sagittarius. Your prayers have been answered. So there's a blessing on the way, right? There's something that you wish for that will be happening. Beautiful. Let's get some more energies for Sagittarius. We have exchanging gifts, the number 27. So there may be someone who has a gift for you, you know, or you may be buying someone a gift, but I feel like it's something that's very unexpected. You know, it's not your birthday. Um, all that glitters, okay? So really beautiful. Um, this may be very expensive. I also get that that saying, all that glitters isn't gold, you know? Um, but I feel like this is this is a wonderful gift. This is something beautiful. Look at this, that brightness in the black in, in the back. You know, there's an angel watching over that. You know, so this is a blessing. This is a blessing coming forward for you. Okay, so let's get some energies for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? Spirit, give me a message for Sagittarius. Some of you know this. All placements. What's going on with Sagittarius? What do they need to know? What is in Sagittarius' current energy? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Woo! This is new love. New love is coming forward for Sag. Okay, we have the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, what's in the near future for Sag? There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. There's too many. Too many cards. Too many, Spirit. Give me a message for Sagittarius. A message for Sagittarius, please. The Seven of Cups. More cups here. Hmm. And the Two of Cups. This is all about love. This is all about emotions. You have nothing but cups, Sagittarius. 
So you, you're deep in emotion. You're definitely feeling things really strong right now. You're definitely very sensitive. Your emotions may be very sensitive. They may be heightened. It could be that you're, you're fertile, you're pregnant, your hormones, you know, if you're a female. If you're a male, you could be just feeling very strong. You know, you're, you're deep in your emotions right now, right? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of things that you're thinking about, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot of things that you could be soul searching. You may also be very bored in your situation, kind of looking for something that's more fulfilling, you know. Um, but with this Page of Cups energy, I feel like there's definitely an offer on the table. There's definitely an offer on the table to maybe be social. To go out this is the page energy so this is a new beginning some kind of love starting to flow and blossom right and then we move into your current energy which is the the ace of cups energy this is full-blown love this is overflowing this is just oh feeling the the feelings there right the near future, we have the Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay. And with the Seven of Cups, I'm getting, again, all the glitters may not be gold. Right? Not every opportunity is going to be that special opportunity. You know, there may be lies or illusions. Um, hmm. We have the Two of Cups energy. So this could definitely be a soulmate that you're dealing with. You know? Hmm. Give me more messages for this Four of Cups. Page of Cups. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this Four of Cups. Page of Cups spirit. The Magician. This is something that was manifested. Yeah. King of Cups. The sun. Yeah, this is something that, that you or this person manifested. You created this. Right? And I feel like there's... There's some difficult decision that you need to make about this offer. Okay? I feel like this offer is very very appealing. It's very satisfying. It's going to bring you happiness and abundance. And you're going to be overjoyed. Because this King of Cups, you know, he's, he's very emotional, but he's very stable. He knows how to hide his emotions. He's not showing all of his emotions. So this could be someone who you may not be able to figure out. Someone who doesn't really show their feelings the way you do, right? Um, but I feel like there, there's a sun here, right? So they're bringing you joy. They're very happy. You know, I feel like you're happy together. It's going well, right? But I feel like... Sometimes you just can't figure this person out. Some things are kind of hidden. Okay. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, please. Yeah, the, the Hermit. The Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom we have the Knight of Pentacles, right? So I, I, I feel like what this person is offering is they're offering stability, okay? And I feel like it's something that you've always wanted. You've always wanted to be stable. You've always wanted this relationship, this 
possibility, right? Because we have, okay, with the Seven of Cups, we have the Hermit and the Seven of Swords, right? So I feel like in the back of your mind, you're kind of playing this tug of war. Is this worth the effort? You know? And I feel like you're kind of doing some soul searching. Because I feel like there may be something that you're leaving in order to take this opportunity. There's something that you're walking away from. So you're hoping that you're making the wise decision. Right? I feel like that's the reason why these cards are coming out the way that they are. Because with the, you know, with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of options and opportunity. But all that glitters isn't gold, right? Um, some of these cups could be illusion. You know, could be lying, cheating, stealing. But some of these cups can be happiness, joy, fulfillment. Right? And I feel like you're like playing this tug of war. So there's something that you're walking away from in order to take this offer. Okay, it could be a relationship that you're walking away from. It could be um, <clears throat> emotions that you're letting go of. It's going to resonate differently for everyone. It's not going to resonate the same for everyone. Not at all. Okay? But I feel like with this Two of Cups energy, this Two of Cups energy is happiness, fulfillment, being overjoyed, having everything that you possibly need, you know, you know, filling that, that heart space, someone making you a priority, you know, juggling that energy. But I feel like they're making you a priority, Sagittarius. Hmm. With the, the Ten of Pentacles, the sun. I mean, this is definitely happiness. This is the feeling of being overjoyed, right? With the Ace of Cups energy, this is a new beginning. Definitely that new love coming in. You know, maybe that's the reason why we have this exchanging gifts. I feel like this person wants to wine and dine you. You know, they, want, they really want to show you their affection. Okay? Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Give me more messages for this Ace of Cups, please. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on with this Ace of Cups? Okay. The Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. The Two of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> okay, Sag. I see you. Okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Wands. This is your energy, Sag. You're fiery. You're attractive. You know, you're bold and assertive. That's why you come across as so appealing, right? And I feel like this person who's coming forward, they may be a Earth sign. Uh, Capricorn. Uh, Taurus, Virgo. <clears throat> but... Hey, this is stability. This is someone who's coming in to give you balance, to be very generous. This is someone who won't take your last without giving you their last, right? They, they want to give and take equally. This balance, this generous nature, not overtaking, right? This person is planning. They're planning a future. They're, they're making plans for this new love, this new beginning. You know? They're thinking about how it's going to go. And this is stable. This is a solid offer that's going to bring you so much abundance, so much loyalty here. You know? The King of Pentacles... This is a loyal king. He's true to the end, right? If he starts something, he sticks with it until it's finished, until it's done. And he's loyal. He's stable and solid. 
and he has everything that he needs. He's not afraid to share his wealth, right? This is a very giving king. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some advice for Sagittarius. Let's get some advice for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? The Six of Wands. Wow. The Emperor. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles again. Right? So this is something that's going to bring in a lot of abundance. We also have the Emperor here. So we know that the Emperor likes to be in control. So there may be a need for this King to have some kind of control. You know, that may be their issue. Um, but I feel like this King is giving you the ability to take control of the situation. You know? Have success. Because we have the the Six of Wands, the Sun, two Ten of Pentacles. So there's a lot of happiness here. There's nothing that's too overbearing. Right? There's no indication of something being overbearing except for this Emperor being here. So this could be someone who is taking on that Aries energy who wants to be that true leader, that provider, right? Um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely someone that wants to perfect this union, this coming together. I wasn't expecting a love story here, but I feel like we got one. Look, the Ten of Pentacles is right next to the Ten of Pentacles. So double conf confirmation. There's a lot of happiness and growth. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Now this is the love story I like to read, right? Yeah, this is beautiful energy. The Seven of Pentacles. Someone's planting the seeds for a new beginning, a new journey. And they're ready to move to someplace better. A better situation. Wow, how, how much more positive can you get? Right? Sag, this is beautiful. This is someone who really wants this new beginning. Who really wants to plant the seeds to grow something special. And to take you, to move you to a better position, into a calmer reality, right? So, yeah, this is, this is really beautiful energy. Let's get a timeline. This is a, let's get a timeline for Sagittarius. When will this? Come into fruition for Sagittarius. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have, there's a blockage you're not aware of. Identify it and then come back and ask again at a later time. So there's something being blocked, right? We have close your eyes and feel what you want approximately three months. Okay, so with some aspects of you, there, there's a blockage and they're not able to really see exactly when this is going to unfold. It's just the near future, right? To raise your vibration, you know, get a better understanding and then come back and ask again. For others of you, we have close your eyes, feel exactly what you want approximately three months. Right? So this is beautiful. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message from the angels. <clears throat> okay, we have Obsidian. And actually, this card has come out so many times 
during these readings. And I feel like a lot of you are, are really in need of grounding yourself, of just taking that heart space, that time to really get into that alignment, okay? And shield yourself from that negative energy, okay? Um, and we have... <clears throat> We have dress rehearsal. So there's going to be choices. And there may be an alternative course that you need to take. You may be switching directions. Right? You may be changing from your current direction to a totally different direction. You know? Having a totally different aspect or a totally different perspective. Okay? Let's get some monology cards for Sagittarius. Look at this. A new start is coming. Definitely new beginning. Beautiful. And we have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. There you go. Sagittarius is stepping out and showing out. Right? Um, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. Let's see what's going on with Sag. We get your angel number. We have 1515 creativity. Okay, keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is around you, right? Okay, your affirmation, creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. Beautiful. Okay, so that's your reading, Sag. Okay, I hope this reading resonates. If, if it does, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. If it doesn't resonate with you, of course, take a look at your other placements. They'll give you more messages um, that may be resonating with you more, right? And until your next reading, Sagittarius, so many blessings to you. I love you, Sag. Love and light.